Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Michaela Copeland here. Today's video is about something that will affect everyone in the UK within the trans community. <clears throat> about last month, after six long years of debating it, um, by a ratio of 86 to 36, Scotland passed the, um, the registration bill so that um, 16 and 17 year olds can self identify as female or male without a need for a medical diagnosis which quite a lot of countries throughout the world has already stated this and um, Bridget Sunak who's current Prime Minister and as the Black, who is who is the Scotland Minister, has introduced Section 35, which was the first time it's ever been introduced. Now, we all know that the Tory party has always hated the LGBTQ plus community because look at when they introduced Section 28, and back in... April the 1st last year when Boris Johnson announced that the conversion therapy bill will not cover trans people, we will just cover LGB. Now, um, and Keir Starmer, he's just as bad, I call him Tory Light because he claims that 16 and 17 year olds can't make this choice, which from the age of 16, you can legally change your name without asking for your parents' permission. And a lot of us within the trans community, we know way back in early childhood, like I've known since I was six, seven, that I should have been born a girl. But because of Section 28, which Maggie Thatcher introduced during the 80s, there was no LGBTQ plus teaching when I was at school. I thought I was the only one and it's pretty it's pretty messed up. Um because when back when Boris Johnson was forced out of office, um Liz Truss and Richie Sunak during the Hus many Huskins, um Richie Sunak said that trans women was not women. And this trust said the same. And Kemi, Kemi Badenoch, who is the Women and Equalities Minister, she's done so many anti-trans dog whistles and saying that trans women are really, really women, are really men in dresses. And the long wait for a first appointment at a gender clinic <clears throat> would be years and years and years and years, which if I saw on the Charing Cross now, I'll now be waiting 54 months, which is four and a half years just for my first appointment. Now, luckily on the 30th of June, the year just ended, I had my second appointment at Trans Plus, got my diagnosis of gender dysphoria, and that enabled me to come off private and start using NHS care, which June, July next year, I will be able to put my name on the list for surgery, which the 8th of next month, I have got my follow-up appointment. And one of the things I've got to do is I know I've got to have bloods done. I'm gonna and they're also going to talk about um, how I'm finding it on hormones and fingers crossed I can get a recommendation for surgery because I've been living as a female since 25th of September 2018 when I legally became Michaela and this is pretty messed up because we get battered at left right and centre by the right wing press whether it's GB News or Talk TV and Piers Morgan, which Piers Morgan just claimed that he supports trans people, but 
he does attack people who are non-binary by saying that he is a phase. Julie Hart, Julia Hartley Bright is number one. GB News. All the fiery, all the various white wing newspapers like the Sun, the Daily Mail, um, the Telegraph. There's been countless videos I've seen on Facebook attacking trans people, and I keep reporting them. Facebook claims that it does not break their community standards. Yet if I say that I that I do not like cis men with the inappropriate pictures that they send or with them chasing after me or using slurs against me I report, report them on Facebook but I don't care and saying cis is not a slur because cis is cisgender and it means that you identify as the gender that you're born as compared to me and others within the trans community whereas we don't that is why we are transitioning and I'm actually I'm actually being able to apply for my GRC now I'm just um, gathering up all my evidence which I'm not sure what to include um, I'm going to include blood work um, because it's got my diagnosis from a GP um, both my deed poles, statutory decoration, um, letters from when I was under Charing Cross and all that and utility bills and so on. It is quite a minefield and I really, really want it because I will be recognised under the government because of the, of the GRC panel. I will be able to die and get married in my actual correct gender and uh, back in back in the days of section 28 gay men they were called predatory and back in 1991 homosexuality was no longer seen by the World Health Organization as a mental disorder back in 2013 being trans was taken off the mental health disorder because brain scans in trans people have shown that we are actually the, the gender that we're transitioning to and I remember when I came out April the 18th 2018 I felt so free as it meant I could stop living a liar and so many people who knew me before I came out they can clearly see that I'm a lot more happier and back to um, Kemi Badenoch who's the Women and Equalities Minister for those people who want to move to the UK from countries who do have self-ID like um, Canada and um, Argentina she wants to dismiss all that and it is pretty, pretty wrong, which um, people got to keep on going on about single sex spaces like toilets, changing rooms and women with refugees. All the gender recognition is about is just about our birth certificates. That is all. And um, I, people are calling us perverts and that we want to prey on kids when all we want to do just, just use facilities in our actual gender and just want to just pee in peace and quiet. <coughs> and with the long waiting times for the gender clinic, as I said, gender dysphoria is no longer seen as a mental health issue, but by the gender clinic is still seen as a psychiatric patient, as a psychiatric condition. It is not. It takes so it took me so many years to come out because when I was eight, I told my mum that I should have been born a girl and her result was to start beating me up and the abuse for me only got worse. When I came out when I was 31, I explained to my dad 
the simplest terms that I'm born in the wrong body and I should have been born a girl. Because back when I was a kid at school, before puberty, I did not act like a conventional guy. I was with the girls all the time, painting my nails, wearing makeup, wearing my sister's clothes when we were kids. Because I was in the, I was in the beavers like my younger brother. And my sister was a girl, um, not a girl guide, she was a brownie. I used to wear her brownie uniform and play with her Barbie dolls. So at school I was bullied because I hated being grouped with the boys. I was more comfortable with the girls. And also, uh, when I came out, my, my family did say that I'm not really a girl, as I've never been out with a guy before, which... They're confusing sexuality and gender because sexuality is who you date. Gender is who you go to bed as. And I'm really, really happy, which um, I never thought I would come this far, yet alone even come out at the end of the day. And what's happening on, what's happening now, it is going to really affect my siblings in the trans community and it really does suck I mean as I said before gay people had it during the section 28 days and it is not fair because it takes so much for us to come out I mean the thing that stopped me from coming out sooner was the fear and as they say the first step is always the hardest and um, everyone could no one ever calls me by my dad name they always say her and she and even people I don't know in town they always call me love and darling and whatever and that is just so affirming and it's just and it's strange that complete strangers who I don't know they respect me more than my than people in my family and these long waits they do cause mental health issues addictions and so on I mean where would everyday healthcare take as long as what me and others in the trans community takes even if, if it is self caused like diabetes um, they don't have to wait years and years and years and years and years for medical care and I'm not sure how much I can take because JK Rowling um, last month she introduced um, a sturgeon top saying sturgeon destroy a woman's rights which was heavily um, inspired by Posey Parker, which is with her top saying, woman, adult, human, female, and it, it's just totally fucked up and everything, when all we want to do is just live our life in peace, not be asked awkward questions, because when was the last time someone was asked by the birth certificate to use the bathroom? All we want it's just to be able to update a birth certificate and live in peace and get married and die in peace in our correct gender. That's all we want. And because the Equality Act already allows, is all the Equality Act, gender reassignment is part of. Gender reassignment is part of the Equality Act and Richie Sunak wants to rewrite the Equality Act so that trans people are not included in it. That is absolutely wrong. It is the exact same as um, someone trying to cure someone of their autism. It does not work. So um, anyway guys, this is just um, my thoughts and feelings on what's been happening happening lately do you be sure to smash that like button leave a comment down below and press to subscribe to see more videos in the near future so this is Miss Michaela Copeland 
of the Makeda Show. Much love to you, wherever you may be in the world. I'll see you there very soon, everyone. Bye.